name's Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader. And today is my 100th video uh, since I've been on YouTube. So I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different uh, for this video specifically. Um, I just wanted to talk with you guys. Like I get questions all the time um, about my booktube, books that I've read, um, you know, and I just kind of wanted to share some of my answers um, to those things in celebration of posting 100 videos. Kind of tell you guys what I've learned since I started doing this, things that have been hard, things that have been easy, um, and just have you get to know me a little bit more. So I don't know if many of you know this, I've, I've, my community on here has kind of grown a ton since I started this channel a couple years ago. I know a lot of you, I don't know a lot of you, um, but one of the reasons why I started this was because um, I was kind of sick of walking into the bookstore and feeling like I was gonna waste my money. That was my biggest driving factor. Uh, I was in a master's program and I needed my outlet. Um, I had kind of stopped reading for a long time and I needed to get back into it. And I walked into a bookstore and I was like, I don't know what to get. Where that kind of never was a problem in the past, I was a little bit more adventurous and trusting with books. Uh, when I needed an outlet and I needed to know that I'd like something, I wanted to know I was picking the right thing for me at the time. I kind of just got tired of not having anybody to talk to about books. And um, I started with Instagram. That was my very first platform. I have been on Instagram for about three years now, almost three years, February is gonna be my anniversary. A year after I started Instagram, I actually started YouTube. Um, so I will be having three years of Instagram and two years of YouTube at this point, uh, both on the same day. That's kind of why I did it. I wanted to have a community of people that talk to me about books. Um, I don't have very many people in my life that like to read like I do. Um, and so I wanted to meet people that did. Um, since then, it's been crazy. Uh, I mean, I have thousands of followers on Instagram and uh, just under a thousand of you here now. And there's just so many people and so many people that have a love for books that matches mine. Uh, and it's just like, it's everything that I wanted to have happen with my social media. But because of that, I kind of get a lot of questions. Like I get a lot of, you know, what has been hard about this? Should I start, you know, an account or whatever? And um, there have been a lot of things that are hard. There have been a lot of things that are easy. Uh, one of the hardest things just in general for me is feeling like you guys actually care about what I say. Um, I know that sounds weird, but I still get up here and do it even though I don't have 100% confidence that you care. <laughs> uh, and I know that there are other people that probably would feel the same way. Like that is something that's really hard for me um, is just getting up and, and saying what I feel and, and my thoughts, but having that question of like, what if people don't like my video or what if people don't agree or like what I have to say or what if they don't like me? So that is something that has been challenging and I have grown a lot as a person um, doing this, being um, on this public platform, on YouTube, on Instagram, meeting people from all over the world. Like, it's pretty crazy. Um, but that, that confidence is something that has been hard for me. One of the other things that I feel like has been hard that I didn't really realize when I first started my Instagram. So I, like I said, I started it in school. Um, I was living alone at the time. I had a lot of free time for myself. And so I read a lot and I read a lot of books. Since then, life has changed. We've all had lots of life changes in the past couple years. And uh, my reading habits have changed as well. And having this YouTube channel has helped me kind of change with my reading goals and with my reading preferences. Um, being able to share content with you guys 
once or twice a week, sometimes more than that if I can, sometimes less than that if life happens. Uh, and my community still stays there. Uh, that is something that has been really difficult with Instagram. Um, I love my bookstagram. I still do it. I'm on it every day, but it is, it is harder than YouTube is. Um, people need to see content daily. Um, there's a lot of competition with how many books people read, how many books people are given by publishers, um, who got this for free. Like there's just a lot of that down feeling that a lot of bookstagrammers get. Um, and I will say I suffered from that as well, comparing myself and my content to other people and how come they have more followers? How can, you know, how can they read that much? Um, so that has been difficult, but I think that's one of the reasons why I love YouTube is because it gives me the ability to just talk with you guys, be myself, do what I can on my own time. And you know, there are some times where it's really sad that I really, really love a book and the video just doesn't do well, but that's okay because I've seen, you know, a year later, a video that I thought failed, completely failed. Nobody watched it. Um, and then all of a sudden tons of people are watching it and the book's getting super popular and that makes me so happy. Um, uh, Instagram doesn't have that same community, um, or, or process. Um, there's so many photos that things just kind of get lost. Um, it's hard to search for things. And there's there's such a big community on uh, Instagram now that it's great because there's tons of people to talk to, tons of books all the time, but um, you know there are some hard things that come with that too. So that is one of the reasons why I've really, really loved and kind of dove in to my book too. Um, because I love being able to chat with you guys in the comments. I love being able to just talk. Um, I love seeing how many of you are discovering books or rediscovering books or validating my opinions um, with my videos. So uh, that's been really fun, really fun. One thing that's also really hard for me, <laughs> this might sound stupid, but um, doing my makeup for these videos, it's really freaking hard, you guys. <laughs> like I. I'm home right now. I have um, family that I take care of here and sometimes doing my makeup to put on a video it just is really difficult <laughs> and and that's on me because like I like the way that they come out better when I feel good about myself you know and I'm not saying that you need makeup to feel good about yourself but um, I personally sometimes feel better about myself when I put myself together. And some days I'm just like, nah, bro, the makeup's not going on today. It's not going to happen. I mean, it's just not. And then I look at, at people like Kathleen Lights who just does their makeup perfectly every day. And I'm like, oh, I wish I could be you. Things that have been easy. Uh, easy and hard, I guess. Reading is just easy for me. I love doing it. It will never change. Uh, well, never. It changes, but like it will never go away like it did a few years ago. Um, I'm, I'm glad that that is easy to me again. Um, uh, talking with you guys is easy. Uh, I like doing this method because I'm a talker. <laughs> I like to talk, um, writing things down in an in Instagram post is really hard. And a lot of people just see the picture and don't actually read what I have to say. So I like saying it. I like having the conversation with you guys. I get my thoughts out better this way. So to me, Booktube is way easier, way easier. I just, it's more me. I get a lot of people who ask me like, how do you start a booktube? Um, and if you're interested in this and you want me to do a video on it, leave me a comment below and let me know. If I get enough interest, then I definitely will put out a video, but I get a lot of messages about it, um, people wanting to chat about it. And my biggest, they always ask me, what's your biggest piece of advice? And my biggest piece of advice is just to do it. Just do it. Like you just have to one day decide to do it. And the hardest part about it is just to keep doing it. I know that sounds weird, but we start a lot of things in life that we want to do. And then a lot of times life gets in the way and we just kind of stop. Um, I've had those times, uh, but I found that my booktube, my channel, my community, all of you here, 
even when I'm away for a little while, you're still there when I come back. And so that's like really heartwarming um, about this whole community is to just keep going. Just do it and just keep going. Because one day I thought I was camera shy and I was like, there's no way I could ever be a booktuber. No way. Like imposter. Like that's not me. That will never be me. There's no way. I don't know how people do that. And then my husband sat me down and I was like, just do it. Just talk to the camera. I'll go in the other room, like just sit and do it. And I did. And here I am two years later, still doing it. So um, I sit and read and I think about, oh, I need to tell them this. Oh, I need to tell them that. Oh, I need to write this down because I have to remember to tell them this in my review. If you are curious about BookTube, just do it. Just start it. What's it going to hurt? You may love it. You may hate it. But that's up to you and you won't know unless you try, like I did. So I'm gonna go back to my like insecurities here and be like, that's probably a lot about me that you guys may not have wanted to hear, um, but I told you anyways. So if you've made it this far, thank you. It's really weird seeing like on your stats and your watch hours that people have watched you for like thousands of hours because you're like, What's so interesting about me? You know, what? why would people want to talk to me? Um, so if you have made it this far in this video, I appreciate it. Sending little, you know, hearts and love to you through the screen. Booktube has been a fun adventure so far. Um, I don't have any intention of stopping anytime soon. I really do enjoy it. I really do enjoy talking to you guys, leaving you comments, now running book club on Booktube, which I never thought I'd do. Um, I thought that was only going to be an Instagram thing, but it's, you know, now here and I'm excited about it and I'm just happy to keep reading with you all. Thank you so much for supporting me over the past hundred videos. Um, can't wait to get more content out to you guys and get to know you even more as my wonderful little booktube community. And I can't wait for all of the future friends that I'm going to make on here. Don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys later.